test the uh, air conditioning unit. Well, first of all, you gotta figure out what kind of air conditioning unit they have. And second of all, you gotta know the season of it. If you use cool during winter, you are going to feed the suction and the refrigerant, not the refrigerant, the freaking suction line as well as, you can freeze refrigerant as well. So, you don't wanna test it when the temperature outside is lesser than negative around, actually depending on your location, it could be 30 or 20 or Sometimes there's some air conditioning that can be tested around negative 10, not for sure. But, so if it's winter outside, you don't test the cold. If it's summer outside, you do not test the heat. Under a certain amount of degree, you just run it for a good 30 minutes and see how long it runs for. As a structural engineer, you won't be worried about doing that. You just want to make sure the structure is structurally safe. Now, we're not going to go too far in the full blown of HVAC system as in maintaining and fixing, but rather than house inspection section. But as a homeowner, you should just recommend it to be to further inspected by qualified personnel. Unless you qualify in it, you can just put down your report, also qualify in the HVAC system. I'm pretty much qualified in everything on the planet for funsies. Uh, to fix this stuff, I was gonna go into how to fix it, but I'm not gonna do that. Usually, you gotta use delta T, delta T D, delta O D, and delta omega to determine the efficiency of it. As an HVAC, but as a house inspector, you just wanna um, give them a basic measurement of the delta T, which is the temperature drop is in temperature range and the quality of the temperature. Now, delta T D is the Delta TD is a delta temperature drop and delta thermal drop, which is based on the season changes. It's, it's hard to say because there are different measurements of the locations you go to and how it's applied for. Okay, every state have their own rules, get it own rules on how they measure their temperature the location. So that's it for delta T. I'm going to do a, a practical delta T measurement of it with this another section.